next segment tonight, a couple of weeks ago, a clip of Tom Cruise explaining his belief in Scientology started popping up all over the Internet and in the uh, TV news. Now, the clip was taken from a nine-and-a-half-minute video, and it was a little bizarre, but nothing serious. However, the Church of Scientology, representing Mr. Cruz, has sent letters to almost all the media operations nationally, threatening lawsuits if the video is aired again. With this now to analyze the merits of this action, Fox News anchor and attorney, Megan Kelly. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because this is a great example, and everybody should understand this, of intimidating the media. The Church of Scientology doesn't want this video out there, for whatever reason. I mean, I saw the video, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and they say, look, we got a lot of money, and we're going to sue you and tie you up. It's going to cost you, the media, company, whatever it may be, a couple of hundred grand. We may lose. We don't care. Don't run the video. That's what's going on here. Yeah, right? well, that's been their philosophy since the Church yeah. of Scientology Very was founded. L. Ron Hubbard, who's, of course, the founder of the whole movement, the whole religion, if you will, says, he said expressly, the purpose of a lawsuit is to harass and discourage, not to win. And courts through the, throughout the years have accused Scientology of pursuing that same strategy. One court in uh, California said, you use the litigation process to bludgeon your opponents into submission. And if the uh, United States would change its policy toward the British policy of the loser pays, that intimidation factor would go away. Yeah. All right, now let's look at the merits of the case. This is a video that was made by Scientology, correct? Yes. All right, and it winds up on an Internet site. Do we it's know a video... How? distributing within its own churches. If you walk into a church of Scientology, it's playing up on televisions throughout the churches so you can see Tom Cruise. It's Tom Cruise talking about But it's it. not just Tom Cruise. It's, it was originally three hours long, according to the church. The version that's on the net right now is sliced and diced down to about five minutes to ten minutes. Right, so you walk into watch. a Scientology facility and there's Tom Cruise on a monitor telling you how great Scientology How great Scientology is. Okay, so somebody gets this video. I guess they get it. You know, Someone somebody, apparently leaked it. Some yeah, Scientologists somebody sends it out it. To, to an internet site. The internet site whacks it right up there. Yeah, right? yes. And then the media takes it from the internet site. Yes. That's the little food chain. Well, what's ha and, and as you said in the introduction, most of the media has now taken it down. Have now taken it down because they got what but we call all. cease and desist le letters from Scientology right. saying, get it off or you're getting into court. But it's still the on one, one. The one website that didn't is called gawker.com. It's still up there as we speak. Gawker sent them back a letter basically thumbing, you know, its nose at them, saying, no, we believe this is fair use, which is an exception to the copyright laws. Uh, now, Scientology is claiming you can't run the video publicly. Why? Because they say they own the copyright, and, and without paying us and getting our permission, you can't use our copyrighted material. That's generally right, but there's an exception to the copyright laws called fair use, and that's the doctrine that allows places like Fox, places like the Internet, to take certain portions of newsworthy events and to run them. And but that's what Gawker has done. usually has a time limit on it. Um, well, yes, but do Gawker put this up on the heels of this whole Andrew Morton biography. No, no, no. What I'm saying is it has a time limit as to how much you can use. This is a nine so There's nothing written in stone. It's just a feel. Yes, right. generally, the more... I mean, you can't take an event from 1902 and say it's still newsy, and so we get to run okay. so, you know, the, the so video. Okay, so just so... And I'm... I could never go to law school. I'm not nearly as smart as you are. And you know that. Everyone knows that. <laughs> All right? Just a pretty face, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, they say, Scientology, we financed this, we made it, it's our property, and we use it in our church business, yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. You, Fox News, Gawker, whatever, have no right to take our video without compensating us for it. Right. That's essentially the argument. Right, yeah. Then that's the, pur the whole purpose behind copyright is to protect somebody who does that. But the problem is there's a whole long legal test that you go through to see whether this exception, the fair use exception, applies. And in the Gawker case, Gawker's got a pretty good argument that it does apply. you got to look at whether, um, for among other things, uh, how much of the original tape has been republished. Well, here we've got nine minutes of a three-hour video. Uh, you've got to look at how private, how creative was the original thing. Was it some Hollywood movie that had screenwriters working for years? It's just an no, interview with this guy. It's just an interview. And then you've got to look at does the product that wound up on the Internet usurp the original product? In other words, does it steal the whole market? If you see what's on the Internet, does it make you not want to see the original in the Church of Scientology? Well, that, I think that not, could be made. They're not going, well, not we really. We saw Tom. Why do we want to see it again? No. Get that out of my face. No, because the Scientologists walking through the Church of Scientology aren't mm -hmm. going to say, oh, Tom Cruise, who, who cares about him? I mean, they're going to want to see the no, whole but, product. But somebody might say, look, um, I want to see what Tom Cruise has to say about this religion, so I'll go to the Scientology Church, whatever they call it, okay? 
yeah. but now i saw it on some dopey website, so i'm not going to go to the church. and the church can say, that hurts us. there is the chance of that, but just it hurts us doesn't matter. it has to really usurp just render irrelevant the original product, which this really arguably does. and if you see this video, it doesn't necessarily render irrelevant the entire three hour thing that scientology is posting in its churches. i just think it made tom cruise look a little bizarre, and that's why they don't want it out. well, i think that's exactly right, because their point. are you agreeing with me here? yes, i am, because their point, scientology's point is, they're upset, because they say, look, the snippets that you're seeing are not an accurate representative of what is in the three hour event. if you see this, you'll see tom cruise, you'll see two other people who got awards like tom cruise did back in two thousand and four. and just to take these snippets that were meant for scientologists to hear and understand isn't an accurate representation. okay, megyn kelly, everybody. we appreciate you coming in, megyn. thank you. and we'd like you to vote in our billoreilly.com poll. do you care at all about tom cruise? i think i know how this is going to go. we'll give you the results on monday, billoreilly.com. plenty more ahead as the factor moves along this evening. actress who's yesterday, she is our factor tv icon of the week. and bernie and jay will analyze john edwards, david letterman, and me.